Wagner. I'm Head of Mathematics here at Radha Comprehensive School um, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the Mathematics and Further Mathematics A-Level courses that we offer. If we think about A-Level Mathematics first, there are two branches in Mathematics and this is the course that the, the qualification takes. We have Applied Mathematics, which is really um, real-life application of maths, so we've got statistics and mechanics included there and we've got pure mathematics which includes all your algebra, calculus and coordinate geometry, that sort of thing, um, trigonometry as well. So we offer eight hours per fortnight for the A-level maths course. Um, that's generally split between the pure and the applied so, so students will have uh, two teachers, half who are half applied. And at the end of year 12 what we'll find is you sit two units of work as an exam. Uh, unit one is pure and unit two is applied. And it's a similar uh, story in year 13 because it's still pure, still applied, still eight hours per fortnight, but then you would sit uh, unit three and unit four, okay? And together, the unit one and unit two would give you the AS qualification. Unit three and unit four would then complete the A level. Um, there's further information available and the specification um, is available here if you just scan that, point your camera at the QR code there um, and that should give you the information that you need. So, why choose A-level mathematics? Well, first of all, the entry requirement um, that, we, that we expect from pupils is a grade B, but that is a grade B in a higher tier, okay? Um, I think the best people to tell you about choosing A-level mathematics are the students themselves. So I'd like to introduce some of our students to you and tell you why they've chosen mathematics and how they're finding it so far. I chose A-level maths because it opens up my options for the future. So why choose A-level mathematics? Well, an A-level in this subject will complement other subjects for starters. Subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, computing, geography, Business studies, they all use some kind of mathematics. Um, even in essay-based subjects such as history, it can be useful because maths teaches you to think in a logical way, something that's absolutely vital when putting across an argument. There's transferable skills. Um, sciences such as biology, chemistry and physics, they use so many mathematical techniques as they progress that any A-level in maths will vastly enhance your ability to succeed. Pretty future-proof. Um, the amount of technology we're using today is increasing all the time and at the core of all new technology is maths so there's always going to be a career if you've got these mathematical skills. Of course earning potential um, if you've got A-level mathematics is going to lead to a, to a really high level degree course um, and the earning potential from jobs then um, will follow, th follow on from that. And this qualification gives you lots of options. Um, it opens doors. So if you're, if you're unsure about what you want to do at the moment, then obviously A-Level Maths is going to give you a lot of options when it comes to looking at courses and careers down the line. Some of the most interesting, high-profile, well-paid careers revolve around mathematics somehow. Careers in finance, computing, engineering, business, they're all crying out for people with these qualifications. Um, and mathematical medicine is an incredibly fast-growing area too. So I'd really recommend considering A-level mathematics when you're, when you're picking your options to, to study here at RADA. I chose maths for A-level because I thought it'd be helpful in getting me into medicine, didn't we? And I chose to study maths for A-level because I feel it'll help me in my future career as an architect, especially topics like trigonometry and vectors. So now I'd like to talk to you about uh, the A-level in further mathematics that we offer. Um, it's a very similar uh, setup to, to the A-level um, in maths. So we've still got pure maths, we've still got applied maths. The difference of course is it's, it's an extra option in your option blocks, which means you get 16 hours per fortnight, which means you complete the work um, at twice the rate, um, twice the pace because you have double the lessons. Um, so you'll still have 
the unit one in year 12 and the unit two in year 12. But what you will have then as well, because you've covered twice as much, you'll have unit three in year 12 and unit four in year 12. And the outcome of that, of course, is you achieve your A-level in maths by the end of year 12, by the end of the first year. And that's when we look forward then to further maths. And further maths is, is, is the qualification that you would do in year 13, okay? So similar again, pure applied, 16 hours a fortnight, but then there are five modules to complete, okay? There's unit one and four, which are pure, and then two, three, five, which are applied. Now, what I've got here is I've got, again, the specification. So if you'd like to scan that, they'll bring you up with the WJC specification, and you'll be able to look through that at your leisure. So why choose uh, further mathematics? Well, first of all, the entry requirements are obviously a little bit higher. The mathematical content is that much more challenging. Uh, the pace at which you work through it will be more challenging. So we've said that the entry requirements should be a grade A um, at GCSE in mathematics. Um, the reasons are, are quite wide ranging for choosing further mathematics. Some of our pupils will, will talk to you now about um, exactly why they chose it. Further maths is a highly regarded subject. It is essential for engineering and it allows you to keep your options open as much as possible. I enjoyed taking A-level maths and further maths because I really enjoyed my work in GCSE and I'm glad I was able to expand on the ideas within GCSE and A-level. The GCSE staff has been very supportive of my learning and I feel like the syllabus has really expanded on ideas such as mechanics and modern real life situations. I took maths and further maths because I really enjoyed maths at GCSE level and I knew that the statistics part of maths would really complement my biology and chemistry subjects and also the further maths would allow me to open up many other doors going through my career path. So why pick further maths? Well, it's, it's a huge challenge, but of course with a huge challenge you get the huge rewards as well. It opens doors at top universities to study maths related degrees. Uh, the challenge, of course, isn't just in the difficulty of the further maths aspect or the A-level aspect, but it's also in the pace. If you think about it, we're trying to get an A-level done by the end of year 12. And I know we have double the lessons, but it does mean that we work at a much higher pace. Um, it's a brilliant option, especially if you love maths and you have a desire to take it to a much higher level. Uh, but it's an important choice. Some universities, the top universities, is going to is going to be a prerequisite to the courses. Okay, admissions they'll be prioritising students with further maths, especially for degrees in maths, engineering, computer science. We're really lucky to be able to offer further maths at RADA and it could be an outstanding option for you and open doors for your future. We've had some fantastic results at RADA over the past few years. In 2019, as you can see, mathematics A level results, over 60% of our pupils achieved A star OA and it's a very similar picture in further maths where 56% achieved those grades. In fact, in 2019, in further maths, our lowest grade was a B, so every single pupil achieved from an A star to a B, which is absolutely brilliant. It's lovely to see the pupils' faces on results days in the summer where they, they rec we get recognition for their, for their hard work and also recognition for the staff's hard work as well. I'm really fortunate to have a team of staff with a wide range in specialisms, which means that pupils, if they're struggling, they don't, they, can't, they don't have to just go to their teacher, they can go to a number of teachers for help. And that makes a huge difference in the support network that we have for, for our students. Thank you for listening. I wish you all the very best uh, in your choices for sixth form and beyond. Um, it would be a great pleasure to have you here studying mathematics with us and I look forward to meeting you soon.